it comes out pretty close to 2.75, right? And that, and so that's what we need. We need that mean in order to plot the Poisson curve. So now that we have our data, we can calculate the mean and we can plot our uh, curve. Now, another indication that we have a Poisson situation is that the mean is gonna be equivalent oftentimes or roughly equivalent to the variance. So to calculate the variance, let's take our data. Remember what we did is we, we basically take all of our data and we subtract it from uh, from the midpoint, the mean, right? So let's just do that real quick. I'm gonna add some cells to do that. I'm gonna put my cursor on F to G, right click and insert. And then I'm gonna say, now this is gonna be the mean. And then I can say, okay, now this equals that 2.73. I'm gonna say F4 on the keyboard and copy that down and then I'll just subtract every point from the mean difference, call it the difference. So this equals this minus that, and then I'll copy that down, boom. And then if I scroll down to the bottom, we can then say, okay, all the way down, da, 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 da. I can just hit control shift down all right, so then we have our totals. And so so this I can do the count. I can do a count here if I want equals count just to put something here. Count and I should come up to a thousand. And this is going to be the uh, sum. I'm going to say alt equals to the sum. It's going to be zero because that these are showing the amounts that are above and below the mean. I'm going to add another column putting my cursor on column H, right click and insert. And this is gonna be the uh, squared amount, squared. So now I'm gonna take this caret to the second power or squared and double click, copy that down. And then if I go down to the bottom, we're gonna say, all right, let's sum this up, which is alt equals so now we've got uh, uh, that amount so this is going to be the squared uh, this is the squared uh, sum of difference let's say which is equaling that and then we're going to divide by the count which is we represent the formula as n which equals 1000, right? So now I can divide this out and this is gonna be the variance. Sigma squared equals this divided by this. I'm gonna add some decimals and you can see that comes out to 2.55, which is fairly close to the mean, right? And then if I, and so that's gonna be the variance and if I take the, the standard deviation you'll recall that we take equals this or i'm sorry the square root sq square root of that right and that's going to be the standard deviation but right now we're kind of looking at that variance because if that equals the mean that's an indication that we're in this poisson distribution situation now i can also if i wanted to calculate that variance this way I could do it with a function, right? I can say equals VAR, variance of the population, double click in that, and then take this whole column of our data, control shift down, shift up, so I don't pick up the total, enter. And so I added a couple decimals, 2.55. Here's the variance S equals variance of a sample. And then again, I'm gonna put my cursor on here, control shift down, shift up, so I don't pick up the total, and then add a couple decimals, right? So the idea here, so if I looked at this data set, these are gonna be the indications that I have a Poisson distribution kind of situation. I could say, okay, yeah, it looks like it, the curve looks kind of like a Poisson distribution. Uh, it's, slightly, uh, it's slightly skewed to the right, 
I've got a, if I calculate my variance and the mean, those are roughly equal. And in a perfect Poisson relationship, those would be equal. So the closer those two are together, the more I'm going, okay, maybe I can use a, a Poisson distribution. And if I do that, then I can, I can plot the, an actual smooth curve and in, instead of a jagged data curve, right? And so that's what we'll do uh, next time.